In this video I'm going to talk about the speech test for biceps pathology. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. Originally, the speed test was designed to test for tenosynovitis of the long biceps tendon, but is now being used for several pathologies of the biceps. In their meta-analysis from 2012, Hedgetus et al. found a sensitivity of 20% and a specificity of 78% for the speed test in the detection of slap lesions in the shoulder. The test scored equally low in the detection of biceps tendinopathy in several other diagnostic papers. For this reason, the speed test has a low clinical value to in or exclude slap lesions or other biceps pathologies. The literature describes two different performances of the speed test. For the first version, ask a patient to extend his elbow and fully supinate the forearm. Then, the patient flexes his shoulder from 0 to 60 degrees while the examiner gives resistance. This is probably how Spencer Speed discovered the test himself, as he was experiencing pain in the shoulder when he was performing a straight leg raise test in his patients with an outstretched arm. In the second version, which is the version that is commonly used nowadays, the patient is asked to extend his elbow, fully supinates his forearm again and brings his shoulder into 90 degrees of flexion. In this position, the patient is asked to resist downward pressure. When a patient's arm is placed in the examining position for the speed test and downward pressure is applied, the biceps tendon acts like a suspensor cable from its insertion on the superior labrum to the arm. Increased tension in this cable, and if inflammation is present, is thought to result in pain in the shoulder. So in both cases, the test is positive if your patient reports pain in the bicipital groove where the long tendon of the biceps enters the shoulder capsule. Alright, this was our video on the speed test. If you want to know a more accurate way of how to diagnose slap lesions, check out our video on the best test cluster for this pathology right next to me. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, feel free to click the like or share button if this video was helpful to you or drop us a comment. If you want to have all of our videos in one product, check out our book or mobile app in the description down below. You can find more info about us on our website or on other social media channels. This was Kai for PhysioTutors, I'll see you in the next video.